Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. Today's minimalism video is going to be I organize my vanity, or rather, come along with me and organize my minimal makeup vanity. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go! Woo. Before we get started, as usual, some housekeeping. If you wish to help support my channel, consider checking out my Patreon. And if not, then just help me out with the algorithm by giving this video a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. And let's just get right into the video. I'm just going to show you guys what my vanity is looking right now. It's kind of messy, but I figured to organize it and spruce it up. Okay, everything is looking super messy, but I definitely want to take this opportunity to do a little bit of decluttering. I don't have a lot of, like, makeup per se. Like, this is literally everything that I own. I know it's not, like, super, super ultra minimalistic, but I want to get it there. Like, everything that I have does fit in its makeup bag. Where is it? Where's my makeup bag? This is a makeup bag. It all fits in here. It's actually really big. Like, it's kind of like a big puffy square shape that I got from Miniso. If you guys have watched my minimal makeup collection you guys will see that i have made it fit in this bag but for the time being as i like currently use my makeup i use these things and these because like in the day i don't really have time to go rummaging through this thing it's just like not efficient anyway so i'm going to be doing some declutters these are two eyeshadows that i'm going to be decluttering i had taken them out of the palette that it comes in which is like the 1028 artist palette but this pink shade which is sakura sakura blossom i think it was or flashy sakura yes it's flashy sakura and it's i'm ashamed to say over five no four years old so it's time to let it go it's a metallic shade and the metal just doesn't transfer anymore so it's fine it's time to let it go so thank you so much but letting you go and then i have this shade which is honey copper and again same thing it's more of an orange tone and it doesn't flatter me at all so we will be letting you go thank you all right let's look what's inside here okay so this is what got displaced these two used to be in here but i actually depotted my essence i think in the shade bone and these are the shadows that i'm keeping this is a keep i know i I have shown this in many videos where I'm like, I'm a declutter it and I never don't. But guys, I'm trying. I'm really trying. So these are all of the eyeshadows that I currently own. I have two cream eyeshadows, which I also use as lipsticks. But these don't, I'm not really counting these as powders. So we're not going to include that in here. But, um, oh, did I just get my fingers in that? So these two were a pair. And once I finish these off, I'll be able to deep pan this one as well. So this is Essence. And then I have two shades which are more like shimmer shades which are from soleil which are a taiwanese brand i have one in the gold and i have one in like a pearlescent shade the number is oh doesn't have the numbers well yeah can't help you guys with that one okay and then i have this one which i have also it's the rose 28 shimmer and i'm going to be organizing these so let's put the palettes away I use this this um, container for putting away my eyeshadows. So I just put this here and then put these in here as well. Keep everything together. I also have some more luxury ones. I have Dior in the shade Saint Couleur in Rouge Travagard. That is like a pinky kind of shade, which I will show you guys. So this is what it looks like. It has Dior written on the inside. It's very beautiful. I love using the lighter shade. So I use this shimmer one here and this pinky deep peach color. And then this one for my eyebrows. I don't really use the red or the purple unless I'm going for like a super smoky look, which I haven't really gotten around to. So yeah, put that in there. And then this is my staple Laura Mercier in the shade... It's a translucent medium brown and I use this one every single day and it has like a deep pan. I'll show you guys. So I have that that I've hit. I've made a big dent on. It's hard to see here, but you can kind of see it in the middle. What I love about the Laura Mercier singlets is singles is that it has this little mirror function, which is really good for just taking it itself on the go. So that also goes in there okay and i put these down here because i just like keeping my table cleared off so here is my skincare which is aloe and my sunscreen if you guys are wondering what i use i use neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch 
in the 45 i think i read somewhere higher than 30 or 50 is enough so that goes there slide that in there all right coming back to here we're going to be organizing things so i like keeping on my vanity things that are the certain colorway that i like so primarily shades of brown like this and gold so let's organize this so this stays here this little hair tie we're going to be putting away with the hair ties so we'll just put that away there for now all right these things are pink and aesthetic so we don't really want that so these are just two lip balms these are natural they have like natural ingredients they're homemade by will's mom i have an older one when she didn't put the little horsey thingies on it so we'll put that away this is one of the foundations that I use. I use the peach cotton in the pore blurring BB. Um, this is from Skin Food. I love this because the product itself smells like peaches. It smells so good. Let's put that in there. That there. This little tray that I have here is just like all my jewelries. This is the watch that I use for work. It's very minimal, so everything I can put on. So this is my watch, which is from Rosefield. I have this beautiful gold and diamond necklace. That's my mom's, which I love to wear when I like to layer things up. I have two rings. These are like plated and stainless steel. So I have a pinky ring. I have an index finger one. That's just like the one diamond. Then I have a silver ring that Will got me for our engagement. And I have a pair of gold plated silver earrings from Bittersweet. Okay, let's put that away in its little container. Okay, this little spoolie, put it back here with my brushes. Don't need all these lipsticks out and about, so let's just put these away. I love these little magnet lipsticks because they like stick together. If you're wondering what these are, these are my two lipsticks from the Rouge series from Misha. This one is brand new and it is in the shade, it's in Korean. I'll figure that out later, but yeah. One is like a kind of like a deep beige and the other one is like a true lilac. We'll be putting that in the bag. In this bag, I keep makeup that I don't really keep on my vanity. It's like not a daily thing, so yeah. This is my makeup pouch for carrying things when I'm out and about, so I don't need that at the moment. So let's put that away. These are cream blushes, but they don't really fit the aesthetic of the desk, so let's put that away as well. So in here, this is an empty container. My mom used it for skin for her skin creams, but it's empty, and I just actually just refilled it with sunscreen, so I just keep the sunscreen on here, and it keeps that beautiful aesthetic going on of kind of like the wood that I have going on, like this. This one isn't wood, but it's like fake looking wood. That goes there. This little sponge, this is a Lancome sponge that I use with my Lancome foundation. Put those together, go in there. All right, we're just gonna organize over here. This is my 1028 eyelash curler. It's really dirty, I gotta clean that. Here I have my mascara, which I use every single day, which is Hime in the shade brown. Then I have my most prized lipstick, this YSL that got that I got for my birthday from Will. It's Secret Beige in the number 25. I have it memorized, so even if this doesn't focus, you guys can just take my word for it. There we go, Secret Beige, number 25. We'll just put that there for aesthetic purposes. Then we have Jojoba Oil, put that in there. Take that as well. This is my eyeliner, which is Moisture Mist. I love this, I've rebought it several times. I have, this is the second time that I've bought it, or the third time actually. So that's my eyeliner. I don't use it on the daily, just only when I'm filming. I don't need this other mirror up here as well. So I'll just put that down here. And let's see, yes, this is also for my brows. Take my makeup bag, it's quite light actually, it zips up pretty well. So these are for like my non-essentials. Okay, organize that. And there we have it. Oh, if you're wondering what these are, these are my two cushions. So this one is the Pro Cover Misha. I love this stuff. I finished it and then I refilled it with the Misha, I guess the Perfect Balm BB Cream, which is the red bottle that everybody like loves and uses so i just refilled it with that and yeah so that's that and then over here this is a ysl this one this one's an eight le cushion on Col de po this one was a asia limited although maybe they had it in canada i'm not sure but when i got it i was told that it's an asian exclusive so it has like the fake leather it's so pretty i love it i also had the classic one but i had decluttered it when i went through a phase of like no brands but turns out i have a soft spot for YSL so I got it for my birthday it's in the shade 20 usually I never run this light even though I am quite pale 
but this series ran a little bit darker so 20 suited me just fine 30 was way too dark so yeah if you're wondering what my shade is in for lancome this one is also an asia I got this one in Asia and I am in the shade P003, which is very similar in colorway to the YSL and the number 20, if you're wondering what that might be for you. But honestly, I feel like what you see YouTubers or people on the internet use is specific to them. So you should definitely go to the store and swatch them on yourself because I have learned the hard way that buying according to somebody else on the internet does not necessarily translate to you. This one, I actually had to get this shade as opposed to another shade from like another YouTuber that I watched. So take that as you will. All right, so everything is organized. I think I talked about everything. These are just my brushes. You guys have seen in a million videos where I try to declutter them and they sneakily make their way back. It's just a collection of Essence brushes and my Nomi set, which is still going strong. That's literally it. That's the only brushes that I have. I have two sets and that's about it. For skincare, when I feel like getting more bougie, I use the Bio Essence. This is the Bio Gold 24 karat gold. This is from Singapore. This is like my fifth or sixth bottle. I swear by this stuff. This stuff is amazing. This is the only quote unquote bougie skincare that I'll get, but it's just a drugstore brand. So I mean, like I just get this because I want to bougie out, but beyond like the times when I don't replace this, I just stick with regular aloe and that does the trick. I don't keep it on the vanity because it's just like not aesthetic but this thing is like 25 nt which is really 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 affordable so you don't really need bougie skincare and then here if you guys were wondering i have curly hair so i use the argan oil of morocco and i normally pick up just the regular penetrating oil but they didn't have any on the shelf so i got the extra not that i need or wanted the extra i mean it's good but i prefer the original and i just keep that in a really large plastic bin of like a knockoff what is it like anna sui all right and there we have it Okay, so there we have the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed cleaning my vanity and kind of seeing like my updated minimal vanity, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.